Any last words before you are sent to your fiery doom? Yes, I really don't understand the metaphors used in Apple's apps for iPad. What? You're about to be lowered into lava and you are talking about iPad apps? Yes. Apple has a set of rules called the Human Interface Guidelines. It says that when you are using a metaphor of an object, that it should be hired naturally like that object. For example, in the iBooks app you can swipe your finger to turn the page, just like in a real book. Still not sure how this relates to you in a cage, suspended over lava, but what's your point? If you look at the calendar app for the iPad, it looks like an old-fashioned date book. It has pages just like the iBooks app, one page per day, week, month, depending on the view you have it set to. So? You can't swipe your finger to go to the next page. You can't tap on the edge of the page to go to the next page either. It looks like a book, it has page animations like a book, but you can't turn the page like the iBooks app. Why not? I think that there are different developers for each of the iPad apps, and they have different interpretations of the human interface guidelines. You do realize that if I push this button, you will drop into the lava, don't you? And another iPad app that bugs me is the Videos app. On the iPhone the media playback is done in the iPod app. It has pretty simple text lists to speed through the movies you have on your device. On the iPad the Videos app just is a bunch of thumbnails on a black screen. Rotating the iPad doesn't change anything. The titles are truncated too, so you can't even read the full title of the video. Even when you click a video to open up the preview screen, it still truncates the video title while providing a huge area to tell you what format the video is encoded in. Here comes the finger.